Hello, friends. It's Wednesday, February 3rd. Hard to believe it's already February, and we have just finished recording worship for Ash Wednesday, which is two weeks from today, as well as for this coming Sunday. I'll remind you that this Sunday is Communion Sunday, so you might want to have some communion elements handy before you watch this Sunday service. As we um, look toward the future here, um, I realize that we have sort of came to an abrupt halt with a very promising start to a long range planning process that we um, started embarking on last year. Um, last year. The planning was sparked by a large estate gift that we received from the estate of Clayton West Bay and realized that in order to be faithful stewards of this gift, we really needed to be clear about Central's primary mission the mission of our annual conference is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. But a key question for us here is <clears throat> what does that look like specifically in Stockton during 2021 and beyond? Um, and I think that having gone through the experience of this pandemic will um, help us to, to sort of shape our thinking about what our church's essential mission is. And so you'll be hearing more about that as we reorganize our um, core planning team and as we continue to find ways to involve the congregation in this planning. Um, a mission, I think that the healthiest churches, the strongest churches are those that are mission driven. And that means that we would evaluate um, every program and every decision that the church makes in light of our core mission. And Central has such a great long history of ministry in the community. Uh, we have a, a history of valuing education and supporting higher education, as well as education at every level. Um, we are discovering now that in our community, there, we are encountering problems um, that, that were not nearly as um, obvious and devastating um, a few decades ago as they are today. Those problems include the growing number of unsheltered people, the growing economic disparity that leads to all kinds of, of social problems. And so, um, and we also have realized, as many people are realizing that um, how we care for the earth's resources is really important. And um, to that end, the, um, the replantings and the new arrangement in the garden right outside the columbarium uh, which uses native drought resistant plants uh, to provide beauty, but also to um, consume less water. Um, some of these projects are, are all connected. We want our campus to be a safe space for all. We want it to be a place of beauty, a place of respite and so forth. So in the coming weeks and months, um, you'll have a chance to be involved as we really consider moving forward, what will be um, our central guiding focus as we live out our life as disciples of Jesus in Stockton. This is also a time of transition for the church. Part of the transition is that we have obviously had to move um, to online worship and mostly online programming. And a lot of that will continue even when we are able to be back in, into our buildings for some in-person gatherings. It's a time of transition because Alan Cook, who has been such an integral part of Central staff for over a decade, is retiring at the end of April. And so this causes us to pause and consider 
how we can best uh, move ahead with ministry. What are the programs that are most essential to our work? What are uh, perhaps some new possibilities that we want to consider? So there's, there's a lot going on um, in terms of thinking about the future and planning even as we continue our day-to-day -day ministry at Central. So I appreciate the chance to keep, um, keep apprising the congregation of, of what's happening. We have a very strong church council this year. We have a strong board of trustees. Uh, we have strong and um, growing lay leadership in so many areas of the church. And this is very exciting to me as your pastor because really the job of the pastor is to equip the ministers of the church and that is all of you to um, fulfill your ministry in the world um, and to try and offer some guidance for that so i ask this week that you keep our member arlene smith in your prayers uh, her husband michael died very suddenly on uh, sunday night in their home and this is a time of, of unexpected and tremendous grief for Arlene and her family. So please think of them and continue to pray for Michael Ratto and Mike Kaiser who are undergoing chemotherapy for cancer. Arlene is also undergoing treatment for cancer. Um, Don Biddle continues to have um, a lot of health problems and has been in a nursing care for a period of time until his health is allows him to return home. So we have many uh, members of our community who are struggling and who very much appreciate the care and the ministry of the church. So I look forward to uh, walking through this season of Lent with you. We have some special study opportunities during Lent, including several groups that will read and discuss Just Mercy, which is a, a, a very helpful and provocative book for our time. Um, of course, we have our weekly Bible studies and our caregiver support group, our parent support group. And uh, there, there's just a lot going on for nurture and encouragement and support as we navigate. Um, I hope that many of you are able to find appointments to get your COVID-19 vaccines. I know that has been frustrating, but I think that more and more opportunities will become available and um, we will move forward trusting that God is with us in all that we do. So thanks for listening. See you soon.